Hi, I'm Dr. Lily, and today we're going to talk about croup. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at my pocket, pediatrician. I'm Dr. Lilly, and today we're gonna to be talking about croup. So croup is basically an illness where your child gets a very barky cough. They sound like a dog or like a seal. It may sound a little bit like this. And sometimes when they get a little more distressed, they actually create a, a sound called strider, which is making a noise on inspiration, um, the part when they're breathing in. So it may sound a little bit like this, which can be very scary for parents. So we see this a lot in the ER. Uh, I probably in the winter I see at least one or two cases of croup a night every night that I work. Croup most commonly cr occurs in young children, so usually aged one to six. Um, some children are going to get croup once or twice in their life. Some children are going to get it multiple times. We have some families who come in and we go ahead and get the treatments ready as soon as we see them because we know that that's what they're there for. But. Hopefully your child is just gonna have a one-time episode of croup. So croup is caused by a number of viruses. We don't usually test for them. The most common is parainfluenza, but that's not really important. It doesn't change anything. But these viruses are the same viruses that cause colds in adults and in other children. But in croup, the thing that's unique about it is where the inflammation occurs. So when we think about our respiratory tract, we have a lot of different areas within it. So everybody knows about the lungs. That's where the actual air exchange takes place. So if you have fluid or inflammation or infection in your lungs, that would give you pneumonia. Moving up the respiratory tree, the little tiny tubules that are all throughout your lungs are called bronchioles. And so when you get inflammation in those areas, uh, if it's an infection, it's called bronchiolitis. And if it's just inflammation, we call that asthma. Moving on up, you get to the big parts of the tree, the big thick branches, and that those are the bronchi. Um, so that causes bronchitis. And then as we move up the trachea and around where the uh, vocal cords are, when we get inflammation there, that's where we call it croup. And this is pretty classic for croup. And the reason you get that barky cough is because all the inflammation is around those vocal cords. And so when you're trying to cough, you get that kind of barky seal or dog-like noise. And when you're trying to breathe in, if the inflammation is pretty severe, that's when you get the strider noise, which is again the <gasps> kind of noise on breathing in. If your child has strider, you need to go to the ER immediately, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a second. So when you're looking at that inflammation in the airway, if you were to do an X-ray, you would get what is called a steeple sign, which means the airway is actually narrowed up like the steeple on a church because that inflammation just kind of causes that to come to a tiny little point, which is why you get those noises. When we're thinking about how we're gonna treat croup, the main treatment is gonna be steroids. If you see your pediatrician, they're probably gonna give you a five-day course of steroids like prednisone or prednisolone for a child who can't take pills. If you go to the ER, we're gonna usually give you a medicine called Decadron, which is another steroid that's stronger and they only need a one-time dose. So it's the same thing, it's a liquid medicine, the child drinks it and it reduces the inflammation enough to carry them through the course of the illness so they don't have to take any more medicine. That's just if they're coughing. Now, if they have that strider noise uh, when they're agitated, that will watch them a little bit more closely. But if they have that strider noise when they're comfortable and calm, that's a sign that your child's in distress. So in that case, we would give them a medicine called racemic epinephrine, which is a nebulizer. Just like if your child had asthma and they were getting an albuterol treatment, it's a mask that goes on the face, it runs through for several minutes. Basically what that does is it reduces the inflammation, but then we need to watch your child for at least a couple of hours and make sure that they don't rebound once the effect of the medicine wears off. A lot of people whose children have croup frequently try some of the home remedies as well. These haven't really been proven to work, but a lot of people swear by them. So I think they must work for some children and not others. Studies haven't shown their benefits. But one thing we notice is a lot of time for the first time croupers, they get to the ER and their parent says, wow, they got better on the way here. And the reason for that is usually the cool night air helps. It just kind of does something to reduce that inflammation. Uh, when the child gets outside and breathes that cold air in, everything sort of relaxes, the strider can stop, sometimes the cough stops, and they feel a lot better before they even get to us. In that case, we'll still give them the Decadron because we want that inflammation to stay calm. And so that way, when they go back home and get back in their beds, it doesn't kind of rebound. 
Also, sometimes parents will open the freezer door and just kind of stand there with the child um, with their head in the freezer because they get that cool air. So in the summertime, croup's not as common in the summer, but if you don't have cold air outside, sometimes just opening the freezer door can help a little. But again, these haven't been proven in studies to be beneficial, but some people do feel like it works. Another thing people like to do is turn on a hot shower and sit on the toilet with the child and just kind of let that steam come around. Sometimes that works, it reduces the inflammation as well. Sometimes it doesn't. So you could try it if you wanted to and your child doesn't have Strider. But again, if your child has Strider, you need to go to the ER right away because uh, their airway could become compromised. That would be a definite medical emergency. Other things that people like to do, uh, a lot of times they want to have a cool mist humidifier in the room. That's great. We don't like warm mist humidifiers because kids can get burned on them. But if you have a cool mist humidifier and you are frequently cleaning it, making sure there's no mold in it, then there's no harm in that and that might actually help as well. And then the most important thing is if your child has croup, you want to keep them comfortable. So go ahead and do all the things you would do just for a regular cold. Tylenol or Motrin for fever, have them blow their nose frequently. If it's a baby, suction the nose, but do whatever you can to get that mucus out. Keep them calm, keep them comfortable, help them relax so that their airway can relax a little bit because when they get upset and they cry, they tend to make it a lot worse. So do whatever you can to soothe your child. And again, steroids would be the main course of treatment. And then if there's Strider, they would need that racemic epinephrine treatment. There's gonna be a video coming out soon about respiratory distress and how to recognize signs of respiratory distress in your child, so take a look at that as well. Please subscribe below. Let me know what worked with you. What are your tricks and uh, tips for croup? Because I know other parents are gonna to wanna to know what worked for you as well. Let us know what you think and uh, comment below. Hope this was helpful. This is Dr. Lilly with my pocket pediatrician. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at my pocket pediatrician.